Oh, hey, and welcome back to our channel. Today we are in our winter studio on the top of the Italian Alps. Today's video is about the review of a new tripod from Siri. We are talking about the ST124, which together with the ST125 represents a new tripod line in Siri's family. The guys at Siri's has been so kind in sending me over one of these to test it out, and I have honestly been so surprised that I've decided to make a review about that. Okay, okay, I know what you're going to say. I'm collaborating together with Siri in creating content for them. That's true. You can check them out, some of them, in my Instagram profile. You, the link should be here, some of them below, as well on Siri's pages and profile. But this is not a sponsored review. It's just my personal thoughts and using experience about this tripod, and I hope that could be useful for you to decide if it can suit to your needs. Usually, I will not spend many words talking about tripods. I will just take it, test it out, and being happy with it or not. I'm not an everyday tripod user, also because I work mainly in videography and I use tripods only for some particular shots like interviews. But if you talk about, like, exam for example, landscaping photography, which is something that I really love to do in my free time, this is totally another story. So in this review, I will guide you around few specs that should be pointed out of this tripod, such as its dimensions, material, as well as the WPS, which is a new waterproof system that patented by Siri, and few words about the ST10, which is the fluid head which it comes with. When retracted is a 50 cm tripod, split in four sections with a maximum height of 1.6 meters. I have asked for the four section and not for the five one because it has a maximum height which is a little bit higher compared to the ST125. We are talking about just eight centimeters. But one thing that I really like about the ST124 is that the minimum two diameter is a little bit bigger. We are talking about 18 millimeters in the ST124 compared to the 15 millimeters for the ST125. And another plus that I really like is having four sections. To me, it means that I have three sections less to control when I'm outdoor, which makes me feel more stable and way quicker in setting up my gear. I have tested out in very tough condition and situation, and this tripod never gave me any wiggly or unstable behavior. Honestly, the only cons that I can find in the ST124 compared to the ST125 is that when retracted is a 50 cm tripod, while the ST125 is a 40 cm tripod. The max height of 1.6 meters makes it perfect to do standing shots with no trouble at all. And the minimum height wide open of 38 cm is fair enough for low level shots, like macros. It comes with a soft carry bag, which is really cool, honestly, but I mostly use to store the tripod when I'm in the studio, because when I'm outside, I really prefer have the tripod hanging on my backpack, and it fits perfectly to the tripod pouch. The ST124 is an aluminum anodized and carbon fiber tripod, which means that it can carry huge payloads being light as fuck. It only weighs 1.2 kilos with no as installed and has a payload of more than 12 kilos. This, being a photographic tripod, means you can easily install more or less all the setups that you can have. Okay, fine, I can already hear people saying, yeah, you know, but a photographic tripod to be stable has to be heavy. True, 90% of the time, I would agree on that. But for the use intended on the ST124, lightness comes really to a hand when I'm outdoor taking landscape photography, like where we are today in these beautiful places. Usually I carry a backpack that has 12 to 15 kilograms of gear on my shoulder, and to me it's enough. So if you have to hike and walk for a lot of hours, having a tripod that adds few weight on your shoulder can make the difference on being late or being on time for that sunset shot that you really want to have. The ST124 is very light, and I totally agree on that. But the problem in case of windy situation is quickly solved by hanging your heavy backpack using the hook on the bottom of the tripod. You know what really annoys me when I'm using a tripod? The presence of sands, dirt and liquids between one section and another. Sometimes I even have had to throw away my tripod because of that. In fact, seawaters, sands and dirt can oxidate and compromise the safe use of your tripods. Siri, with these new ST tripod lines, has introduced the WPS, the waterproof system, which consists in a series of gaskets that prevents any liquid or dirt to stuck within the leg locks. I know, it's not the first time that we are a tripod producer introducing something like this in the tripod line. And since I'm not such a huge tech data sheet believer, we have tested out in some difficult conditions, such as mud and snow as well.
Isn't this beautiful? Well, as last topic of our review, let's spend a few words about the ST10, the low gravity fluid head with which this tripod comes with. We got the ST124 with this new photographic head from Siri, and honestly, I want to spend a few words because it's a real beast. Despite its look, since it's very tiny and small, and also kinda light because weights only 400 grams, it has a payload of 30 kilograms. I mean, 30 kilograms is so much. Guys, you can put 20 red camera braids on that. More than fair enough, I would say. All the knobs are very intuitive in the use, and we find even two regulation not so common, such as the ball friction knob and this tiny little blue knob next to the plate locking one, which release and tight the chance to do a 360 pan with the plate by keeping the ball fixed. That's very useful. So guys, as you probably got, I really like this tripod. Okay, it's not perfect for everything, nobody's saying that, but for the use intended by the guys at Siri, I think they really got to the right direction. So if you need a new photo tripod that is flexible and can be used outdoor with no compromise, you should definitely think about having this new SD124. Being that said, thanks so much for watching this, please leave a comment or a like down below and subscribe to our channel and see you next time.